This is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Amnesty International has accused the Egyptian government of a horrifying execution spree. The human rights group condemned a sharp rise in the use of the death penalty in Egypt. It says Egyptian authorities have executed at least 57 persons in October and November alone, nearly double the number recorded in the whole of 2019. The group says the real number was likely to be far higher as Egyptian authorities do not publish statistics on executions. Amnesty International says at least 15 of those executions were related to political violence in what it described as grossly unfair mass trials. More than 30 additional executions were reported in pro-government media during the same time period, but the right group was not able to independently verify those figures. At least nine miners in Zimbabwe are still trapped on the ground eight days after the mine collapsed. Rain and flooding have slowed rescue operations at the mine where a shaft collapsed last week, trapping at least 10 artisanal miners. Hopes of finding survivors have been lost and relatives camped at the site have expressed their desperation for decent burials of their loved ones who are now presumed dead. The mine shaft in Bindura town, about 70 kilometers northeast of the capital Harare, collapsed last week after miners digging for gold blasted a support pillar. The country's deputy minister of mines, Polaid Kabanura, said rescuers retrieved one body on Monday, but rescue effort had been hindered since the flooding. Kabanura said about 10 artisanal miners remain trapped under rubble and water. But an association representing small-scale miners estimated 40 miners were trapped. Ascertaining the actual number is difficult because of the illegal nature of artisanal mining in the southern African town. We'll be right back. We are on the road every day canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere, from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN, African News Network, in a truly African spirit. Prolonged detention of political leaders in Togo is stirring up concern. Two opposition leaders were charged with criminal conspiracy and breach of internet state security. After more than 48 hours of arrest and several hours of inter interrogation, Opposition leaders Brigitte Kafoi Ajamagbo Johnson and Gerard Doji Josu are still in police custody at the Central Intelligence and Criminal Investigation Unit. Their lawyer, Darius Atsu, described the move unjustified, disguised as criminal proceeding. Amnesty International says the arrest of the two opposition leaders appears to be an attempt by the authorities to silence the opposition and dissent voices. That is ANN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi. <laughs>